What is up, everybody? It's Jerry with Dippin' Rip Trading here to give you your AMC update on the day. Uh, today we finished just over uh, $33, uh, right around $33.83, and then we continued that run up another 5.33% in the after hours on the day today. Uh, today I will be running through just a quick tech technical analysis breakdown to see where I think AMC could hit uh, tomorrow and possibly the next day as well as where it could potentially fall to if we don't get that technical breakout that we are all hoping for. Um, feel free to uh, consider subscribing. We also have a like button that you can smash down below. Um, let's get into it. All right, so for starters, we are looking at the minute chart. So we started out, let me jump back real quick. Let me delete this guy. So overall, we had a pretty steady run up on this trend line here. Um, we just maintained this ascending level of support. Uh, we had a few peaks and valleys, um, and then eventually, once we hit, it looks like right at that, <laughs> shoot, like right during that earnings call is kind of where we started peaking. Uh, eventually, we in the after hours, we hit $37.19, and then eventually started coming back down. It looks like we had a little bit of a sell-off in the after hours and then consolidated from there. Um, where I see us tomorrow, so let me zoom out here. So for those of y'all that don't know um, any kind of technical analysis verbiage, so this right here um, is a bullish, uh, it's a bullish indicator. So this right here looks like the forming of a cup and handle. Um, so you have one right here with the handle here, and then you have another cup forming. And then right in this area here, where that rectangle is, is where you kind of see, is where you see that handle forming again. Um, so what I'd like to see is a consolidation of that or even a breakthrough on up. Now, what I'm expecting is I believe that we had a let me delete that guy again. So I believe we were expecting our next level of resistance was right around 3570 or so. Let's see. Or excuse me, 3580. Uh, let me jump out of here. Yeah, so 3580. And then it looks like on after that, we have kind of every single stage and every single incremental dollar amount. So we have another one at 3680. Um, and then we have more. Let's see on this neckline. So we could. 39.25 or so. Now, also in between these, we will have psychological levels or levels of resistance at those even dollar marks. So, um, we tend to see it around you know that 36, 37, 38, 39 dollar range. I would expect though, if we can get a hard break over where this neckline was um, several days, probably a few weeks ago, um, we should get a, a very very hard push up and start climbing it back into that 40 dollar range. The let me take a look at the 15 day MA. So the 15 MA is kind of hovering in between both the VWAP and the 200 EMA. Um, so what we'd like to see, um, number one, it's all it's usually good when we have that 15 MA hovering above that 200 EMA. Um, it's it's definitely a, a sign that the it is in a bullish trend currently, um, and it's even better because usually when we see that 15 MA hook across that VWAP, we start to see an increase in that volatility and price action, and it really starts to jump. Um, now on the downside where I could see us falling to if we don't get that technical breakout, um, AMC typically likes to follow the the Fibonacci retracement, uh, let's see, drop zone. It usually will tend to hover let me go ahead and draw this for y'all. So right here. So it usually likes to fall in between this 50 to 61.8% retrace, retracement level. 
Um, so where it could potentially dip down to is right in this area here. Um, that's if we don't get that technical breakout. So, and a lot of the times whenever we do hit that dip and down into that Fibonacci zone, um, or excuse me, that retracement zone, we do bounce. I mean, you can see it right here where we climbed up and then we hovered in that area and then we continued. So it is good to see whenever we do consolidate within that area because a lot of the times we are able to bounce. Um, now, that's not always a guarantee that usually um, that, that's just the majority of the time that we do typically see that bounce. Um, but again, it's not a guarantee. So um, I would always kind of have that expectation of expect the worst and then the best will happen. So it's just something to keep an eye out on tomorrow. Um, especially with such a productive earnings call that we had today. And also, um, you know, the fact that they were able to smash their, their initial predictions on the day. So uh, for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe, hit that like button. Uh, it definitely helps out the YouTube algorithm. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please feel free to drop it in the comments below. And uh, until next time, we'll see you guys tomorrow.